Now, having worked with various fashion teams, both locally and internationally, on high-end celebrity and designer shoots across the globe, Jessica Gertner decided to come back home and celebrate the phenomenal luxury and talent that South Africa has to offer. She is now making a name for herself in the fashion industry as the stylist and creative director of Style Authority. Most recently, she collaborated with the Tears Foundation in order to raise funds for those impacted by domestic violence, sexual assault and child child abuse uh, and sexual child abuse. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for Let's having me. Let's have a look at this quick clip. Hi, my name is Dumi Marake and I'm here to share some fantastic news with you. Style Authority has partnered up with Tears Foundation for a really good cause. All you need to do is click on the link, subscribe and donate and you could be in the running for a one-of-a-kind designer gown by Gert Johan Kutzia as worn by Nomza Mombata recently. So, you're gonna be giving to a good cause and looking fabulous at the same time. Wow, that dress is amazing. <laughs> Firstly, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for being here. Yes. Before we get into your incredible career, <laughs> let's just talk about this phenomenal competition. Why did you decide to partner with Gert and Tears? Yes, well, I'm so excited to partner with Gert Jan Kutsio. His designs are amazing. He has usually does couture and red carpet looks, and he has some amazing um, ready-to-wear collections as well. Um, and then, so basically, we actually had an update yesterday or the day before. I've been in touch with Toomey. She's actually redoing a promo video for us. Amazing. He's up the ante for the competition and is actually wow. going to be doing a custom dress to, up to the value of 45,000 Rand Amazing. for our winner. So how did this all start? Where did the idea behind this initiative come about? Well, first of all, I just absolutely love his designs. Yeah. And for me, Tears is a personal project for me. Mm. Um, I experienced an incident of sexual assault as a child. Um, it was a once off, but as I say, there's nothing too small. If it felt wrong, it's because it was wrong. So mm. it was kind of collaborating my passion with doing something good while doing something I'm really passionate about. So Amazing. you can see how to enter on my website and then follow the prompts. And then for an additional five entries, you are encouraged to please donate towards Tears Foundation. Amazing. Thank you so much. What a beautiful initiative. Yeah. And then you can win this dress from Gert with 45,000 yes. Rand and so he'll customize it for you. We're actually doing a complete custom gown. So Timmy's okay. actually reworking on a new promo for us. Incredible. So that'll be up shortly. So please do stay tuned on our YouTube oh, and Instagram. Oh, that is amazing. Now let's talk about you. How, <laughs> where did your love of fashion start? Well, I actually, I didn't even study fashion. Yeah. I like stopped doing what I was doing and I was like, no, I really want to want to like go into the world of fashion. So against my parents' will, I started working. I did an unpaid internship here in South Africa first for Cosmopolitan yeah. magazine. Um, I then harassed people in London until I was able to get um, an internship with my dream, dream magazine. Um, but it's been a lot of hard work, a lot of nights after 1 a.m. So when you were working at the magazine, were you working as a, as a stylist? As a fashion assistant. Okay. So I was on the styling team for all of those shoots. So I heard that you did some amazing things. So there was a shoot, you know that iconic shot which Gigi had in the bunny, bunny ears? You went and found those bunny so ears. So we I went shopping around um, London for those bunny ears. This was actually a shoot in New York. So we helped plan it from London and I helped the team get ready for that photo shoot, yeah. Oh, wow. Did you get to meet Gigi? Not Gigi. I did get to, get to meet Bella, though. And she was absolutely really? lovely. Yeah. Okay. Then I heard that you were assistant to Naomi Campbell one afternoon. What was <laughs> that experience? Well, like? we were doing like a big Chanel shoot, so it was like everything was just covered in the new collection. It was absolutely amazing. Um, but she was meeting the president of Ghana that evening, and yeah. she had like literally the most minuscule tear in her pants. So I had to drive around London for like two hours trying to find the correct tailor for her to get her pants sorted out to fix those up for her before her meeting. <laughs> Amazing. So now you're back in South Africa. Yes. And tell me about the creation of Style Authority. So basically, I was so lucky to get the opportunity I did in London. But, you know, when I said I wanted to come home, because I adore the fashion here, you know, the teams I was working with said, oh, so you're not going to work in fashion anymore? And I said, no, like, I'm definitely going to work in fashion. They said, but what do you mean? So, I mean, I know that the market for luxury fashion here is, might be slightly smaller than overseas, but it's still very significant. And we have, I mean, such beautiful high-end luxury here. And I'm just so excited to like create a platform to showcase that. And Amazing. yeah, I'm just so excited with the people I've got to work with. And 
also, I'm also including international brands because I don't want to exclude them. I want to show that we're on par with those luxury designer brands that we see across the globe. So, sure. yeah. Who are your favorite local designers? Oh, so far, I've worked with so many, but uh, Kharchan Katsia, obviously. David Klale has been absolutely amazing. Um, local designer here in Cape Town is Odette Gomes. She's absolutely fantastic. Um, Oh, now I'm feeling under pressure on top of my head. <laughs> no pressure, yeah, okay. but there's a lot of pressure. Okay, so today you've styled a whole bunch of looks. What, what, why did you choose the looks that you did to showcase today? On the so show? it's recently been SA Fashion Week, which has yeah. been amazing. Um, these are actually classic trends that you'll see were also in probably 2018, 2017. They're classic trends that are still staying true to the runway. They're going to be just to embrace them in 2019 as well. So just taken some of the latest collections and dressed some beautiful models today. Lovely. So we've got some gorgeous clothes. Polly's standing by because I think we can't have a fashion show without some sick beats. Okay. <laughs>